Hey everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just have, the, I'm just doing this video in response to Marla Rizzo's um, challenge, which is to make her son a birthday card. And he's turning 18, and so um, we we're to make a birthday card and use the number six. And then, like, she gave us some different ideas, like he likes The Walking Dead, and um, you know, pretty much make make it a masculine card. And then. Um, I'll show you in a minute the inside. It's kind of like um, a little inside joke with their family. So um, let's see. First, I, I used The Walking Dead, and I got this image off the Internet. Um, and because I, I was looking for, like, the walking, like, some a cool image from the show. And I came across this, so I printed this out. And um, I just did it on a, one of the corrugated cards from Michael's. And I used my black soot distress ink and my vintage photo. And then um, I went to use my Inca Gold just to kind of put some gold on it. And it was dried out. And so I used it kind of like a crayon and just went over it. And then um, just to kind of give it a little bit of gold. And then I used vintage photo and it kind of brought the gold out a little bit um, here on the front. You can kind of see where I've done like um, embossing on the paper. That's the um, Inca Gold. And so I just kind of colored it and then I went over it with the vintage photo. I distressed everything. As you can see, like right here, um, I ripped it so the corrugated would show through. And I did the gold on the inside too. And this is just black cardstock. And I don't remember what the folder's called. It's the Tim Holtz embossing folder. And it comes with the shattered glass one. And that's what I used like on these little um, aluminum foil tape. Um, I don't know. It's not really picking up the texture too well. Kind of. But I ran a piece of aluminum foil through the shattered glass embossing folder. And then I just kind of like ripped it up and stuck it here and there on the paper. And then I glued the gears down. These are Tim Holtz gears and little, um, the game spinners. And then this is a Tim Holtz number six. And then these are some springs that I had in my stash of metal. And these are more Tim Holtz right there and right there. And then this is um, a film strip. And when I did um, Marla's frame, because we did a swap a couple months ago, um, Marla told me that a really liked the film strip and I did it right there so I put it on this just because he said that he liked it so and then that's you know a Tim Holtz light bulb more gears and down here and then this is a Prima um, the Roman numerals the mechanicals I think I'm not sure <laughs> I always get those mixed up and then um, this is just a regular Scrabble piece out of the game because um, they made some tiles. And so I can't use the game pieces no more, so I'll just use them on my projects. And so, and then after I got everything glued down, oh, and this is just a spare parts clock face. And then um, I think that's everything. Once I glued everything down, um, I went over it with, and I put it away. It's the um, Tim Holtz paints. It's the antique bronze, the um, the brass, and the brushed pewter, and then the um, oh the black soot distress paint. So I just kind of took my paintbrush and kind of dabbed it. I went over this all the way with the um, I believe it was the brass or the antique bronze, the antique bronze, and then I just kind of dabbed it in the other paints. And then I did it, you know, just with the three paint, four paints over everything, including like the tin foil, and a little bit on the film strip. So yeah, the brass, the bronze, the antique, or the um, brushed pewter, and the um, black soot. Yeah. And then, like, after I did, like, the, the metal paint, I just kind of went back over it with the black, just to kind of, so it wasn't, didn't stand out so much. So that's what I did. And then, 
Um, here are the inside. <laughs> this is like the inside joke. So, um, I don't know. Marla told me. So, I guess his grandma, I think, gave him a blanket when he was younger. Um, and Marla, I think she asked Marla or something about what he liked. And she said the Eagles, um, the football team. I guess that's right, the football team. And um, so she gave him a blanket and it had an eagle. And then it had the zebra print on the other side. And so they have always kind of given him a hard time about that. And so that's why I put Go Eagles right there. Just to kind of, I don't know, make it funny. And then um, this shape I got um, from the die cuts from Becky. So thank you, Becky. I just cut a, a piece of white cardstock out. And these two things I just printed off my um, computer, just off the internet. I just looked up this print and then this. I asked Marla what the eagle was like on the front of the blanket. And I believe she said open flight. So I hope I was right. And I just popped out at this, these two. So they'd stand up. And then I went over the edges. I wrote on this and, you know, cut it out with the shape. And then I went over the edges with um, black soot and vintage photo. And I kind of colored it in, or, you know, um, blended it in, the vintage photo in the middle. Just so it would I don't kind of go with the rest of the card. So that's, that's the card, and I hope he likes it. And I know it's kind of like this, but I couldn't get it to look right this way. So that's why I did it this way. <laughs> so that way when you open it. So, yeah. That's my card for the challenge. And, um... You still have a few days to enter if you'd like. I think she extended it to the 30th of July. So if you want to enter, I will leave the link to her challenge video below. So you can check it out and get one made and mailed off to her. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.